All right, so today, today is not gonna be that exciting of a day. Why is it not gonna be exciting? Because I have to go to Ikea. go to load that is the question I, I know I said it's gonna be a boring day because we're going to Ikea and typically I don't like Ikea we're actually picking up kitchen cabinets for our house that's the one reason why I wouldn't mind coming to Ikea A little bit of load and the old Chevy just smooths out the ride. So I've got a mail call. I'm pretty excited about this one. Waxed canvas. Magnet enclosure. Now, if that isn't classy, I don't know what it is. I'm liking it. I'm really, really liking it. Plus a sticker. This is awesome. This is really, really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and use this for a while and see how uh, see how it holds up. And today was one of those days that seems to be filled up with a million little tiny distractions. And a lot of those distractions took me away from thinking about creating this vlog and next thing you know, it's 7.40 in the evening and I really don't have much of a vlog. Other than a little bit of driving footage, a little bit of loading up at Ikea, unloading up my parents, that's pretty much it. I thought this might be an opportune time to kind of explain a few things and Okay, well, I don't I don't really know where to start, but I'm just gonna start. So I guess since the fact that I went and picked up some uh, cupboards from Ikea for a house building project, I've never really shown much of our house build here at all. And I've also never showed you my current living conditions on this channel. So this, this is where I live. I legitimately live inside of a fifth wheel trailer. My wife, myself and four children we have lived inside of this fifth wheel trailer for over two years do you hear the air conditioning going that's because the walls are paper thin and it gets so hot in the summertime we have to run the air conditioning all the time and in the winter time it gets so cold i'm not joking i'm in alberta here and this is this is a summertime fifth wheel trailer this is not a arctic expedition actually right underneath there that's our well uh, that's where we have the well and we put the pop out over top of it so that we could keep that from freezing up Now, why would you do this? Why would you live inside of a fifth wheel trailer? Uh, with four children and your wife uh, all crammed in there so tight. It's kind of like this. It's short-term pain for a long-term gain This is where we are going to be living This is our house build that's going on. I'm pretty excited about this. I, I think it's looking pretty good. On this channel, I've, I've avoided showing this or the fifth wheel as much as possible. Even times when I was like, you know, a couple days ago when I vlogged and I was driving the tractor and I had to make a cut from the point where, uh, you know, the three point hitch was coming up with the camera on it and then it cut instantly to the wheels and we were like over there in that dirt and it probably looked like I lived in a desert. I don't actually live in a desert, but this is a construction site. I mean, this is all clay fill that's been brought back up after they've excavated for the basement and it's, 
it's becoming increasingly more difficult to keep this information off of my channel as well as all the noise I'm not sure if you've noticed it or not but on a lot of these videos you can hear a uh, background construction noise incidentally it's my neighbor and his son I couldn't be happier they're doing a fantastic job like they do things better or as good as good or better than what I would do but they're so efficient at it they actually know what they're doing I mean I can build almost anything but I'm not necessarily efficient or fast at building most stuff that I don't do repeatedly so really super happy with the way this project's coming it is gonna be so nice to have a house <laughs> to live in um, and also there's a lot of YouTube ideas that I'm really stoked about to actually have space to film one area in particular is when I'm doing these slow food Sundays I don't know if you've ever seen them on this channel but I'm a huge fan of barbecue and smoking and I've gotten really good at like smoking meat and the barbecue is really hard when I film those to not let you know that I'm in a fifth wheel because fifth wheels are incredibly small and like you're table is here and as soon as you look beyond the table beyond the arbright on the table you can see that it's an RV table uh, you can see the booth that it's situated around and I don't want that to interfere with the video so uh, YouTubing in there is incredibly difficult funny thing is that I started this YouTube channel at the same time we plopped the trailer out here and called this a homestead so it feels really good to get this off my back and let you guys know uh, I'm not gonna hide it anymore if it shows up in the videos so be it uh, I live in a fifth wheel trailer hopefully only for a couple of more months it's pretty exciting it's exciting to have this done I think like it's been like two years and two months or something and like uh, three days and and 17 hours and four minutes it's not quite that bad uh, but that's been a long time to live in a fifth wheel every evening we go for a tour about this time actually uh, when they're all done working on the house we'll go out there and it is like a happy happy time of day when we get to see the progress that's being made on our new house uh, for instance check out this front porch Huge! like this this front porch this front porch is probably three times the living space that we have in there it's nuts <sighs> Anyways, this is a lot of in front of the camera, blah, 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 blah. I apologize for that if it's not your thing. I'll look forward to tomorrow's view. We're actually going to build a knife, but I'm so excited to tell you guys that this is a house. This is our house, and uh, you know what? It's going to be exciting. So thank you so much for joining me, guys. If you enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.